Hi there, it's Margaret Carey and Tinkerbell at large once again. And I wanted to tell you, I've been going back in my life and looking into my book and seeing things, and there is a story in there I thought you might be interested in. Because nowadays, people pick up their, their cameras in their phones, and even on their, I think on their wrists, I'm not sure, but take picture after picture after picture. Well, there was a time when I was a teenager, that would be about 80 years ago, where you didn't do it that way. And the story is in here, you went to a portrait studio. Well, that was a big deal. So you got there, I'm trying to find it as, as we speak. Yes, by George, I think I found it. Anyway, um, they had a big studio and they had sets all around and you picked out the one that you wanted and you talked to the makeup person who came, checked you out, what they were going to do. You brought clothing of what you might want to wear for your portrait and uh, how the hair was going to be done and what was the feeling. And you met with all these people. It took about two hours. And then you set a time that you would be coming back, which they set, said, okay, we're all set, you come. So you bring your clothes, you, the hairdresser fixes your hair, if you have one, which I usually did, and then the makeup person worked, worked on that. Then you walk out in front of this squat camera. It was like a box, like an ice uh, refrigerator, a short refrigerator. And there was a lens on the front of it, which you definitely could not see. And they kept telling you, look at the lens. I think it was very irritating. Uh, so you would pose, and then they would move. Somebody would move a light. Somebody would move another light. Somebody would put a shadow down here. Somebody would go over there. Somebody would fix this. Somebody would, and you'd sit back, and, the, and they would say, all right, all right, relax. Relax, after all, but, <clears throat> but you did. And so they waited and waited and waited, and then you heard this, <laughs> it was a little, thing that you squeezed that had air in it, it took the picture. That was it. And you took this piece, big piece out that the picture was, it was like a, I don't know, a, a plate. I think that's what they call it. And they took that. So you had requested doing um, eight pictures. It's what you wanted. And so they took about 12 pictures and you change the costume each time, if you wanted to, or whatever. But all the lighting had to be changed. Everything had to be changed. We're talking about six hours to get all of this done. Then they said, we'll see you in a week. So you came back and they had what they call proofs. And then you looked at the proofs and then you put and then you talked about this, and then you talked about that, where you wanted this to go. They said, we'll see you in a week. And you would come back, and they would have six prints of the three that you have chosen out of all of those. Six prints each. Six times three is 18. Yep, yeah, 18, that was what, what it was. And those you took with you, and that was your your picture that you were going to send out and have it copied, of course, to all the casting directors and everybody. And of course, you know what? You were always disappointed. With all that work, you should have looked so much better than you ever did. There's a whole story about it here. And then along came the photographers with the speed cameras who said, stand over there, Outside, I, I would watch them drive up across my street, across the street from me, drive up, park, the cameraman would get out, the actor would get out, the actor would stand back by the bushes, they'd go click, 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 click. Okay, got it, I'll see you in a week. And that's the way that you got your pictures made. Now it's your friend says, hold it, turn around, I want a selfie. Times have changed. It was great fun, but do read about it in my book. You get it on TinkerbellTalks.com. I'll see you there. And here's a whole bunch of pixie dust. God bless.